Hi everyone, something a little different today. I'm taking you on one of Hao Teng's hiking adventures at the Henops Hiking and Off-Road Trail. This is about 30 kilometers from Midran, situated just before the Hatbiaspur Dam. A good option to get those legs working again after a series of lockdowns. There are quite a few hiking trails to choose from. We opted for the zebra route as this seemed a better option, but don't be fooled. It says 5 kilometers when you start, but be prepared to walk an extra 1.5 kilometers. What I also liked was the option of an escape route in case you get tired. We didn't take any of them and honestly, we couldn't find any after 2 kilometers. The entrance to Henops has some pretty amazing features like that water feature you just saw and this cute little tractor. These were my hiking buddies, my son Adil, nephews, sister-in-law, husband and brother. The first obstacle you come to while walking down from the entrance is the suspension bridge and the cable car. The kids seemed more excited to sit on the cable car and go across the river. Then it was my turn with the hubby. And of course, my brother got to go solo. After the cable car, we continued to walk along the river. My son likes being adventurous and wanted to take a pick on one of the stepping stones. I hope there aren't any crocodiles in this river. Yes, it's called Crocodile River. Oh, and by the way, there is also a river trail along stepping stones. There were many obstacles along the way like climbing up these step ladders as well. Just to remind you, this vlog isn't sponsored by Emirates. And this is probably the only time I got to film myself. This vlogging takes a lot of practice. Once we were on our own and no people in sight, we removed our masks. It is quite difficult, especially for the kids to hike with masks on. After about one kilometer, we came to a picnic site with restrooms, very quiet and very clean. While we were waiting, this is my nephew and son having some fun with the DJI. Sorry, Uzair, you can run, but you cannot hide. Once we left the picnic site, we finally started with the zebra route. Five kilometers to go. This starts with a two and a half kilometer upward climb and a two and a half kilometer downward descent. On the way, my bro found this walking stick. Not sure if he really needed it, but he was being a bit dramatic. Not even one kilometer and I was already huffing and puffing. It was exhausting. The trail went on and on and definitely tests your fitness levels. The lockdown has definitely got our fitness levels low and now is the time to get up and get moving.
plants. It is quite exciting to walk around these bushes and you can also see zebra, wildebeest and giraffe sometimes. Oh, and here's my overdramatic bro with his walking stick. I would say he belongs in Hollywood. He's way too dramatic. Once we got to the two and a half kilometer downhill hike, we all ended up getting way more energy. We also came across this beauty. Why would people vandalize this? And finally, we reached the river where we started. It took us a whole two hours from start to finish with a few breaks in between. This is such an amazing place and a beautiful place to hike. Perfect for after lockdown. It was just so great to start being active and adventurous again after such a long time in lockdown. Once we got to the finish line, we found these beautiful Dasi caves. Do you know what Dasis are? Dasis are from the rodent family and they are also called rock rabbits or cliff badgers around the world. We could hear them inside the little crevices on this rock formation. And of course, my son and nephew just had to have a closer look. And this is the last obstacle on our way home. The suspension bridge. Yes, it does sway and bounce, but the view from this bridge is absolutely breathtaking. I hope you enjoyed this little hiking trip with me and my family. And that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel.